Hi friends, this is Jill El Tamari. I'm here today to talk to you about weaving. So this month is Earth Month, so we have to be very aware of recycling and using things in a different way. I wanted to show you this beautiful weaving that my students created. And we used recycled blue jeans for our weaving and plastic bags. And we had some thick, beautiful yarn. We added that to the bottom and it resembles a wave. So I think they did a fantastic job. So I was very excited to show it to you today. So if you would like to create your own loom and your own weaving, you can easily make one at home by using some cardboard. Maybe you have a cardboard box at home or the back of a notebook. And the way you would get started is you would take your scissors and be very careful, but you would want to cut out little notches up at the top, maybe about a half an inch apart. So you do that up at the top and down at the bottom. And then you would tie a string around, you see that, that's the back side. Tie a string around that first little notch right there. And then you're gonna find your string and just go through each of the little knots all the little teeth up here. See, it looks like a little guitar. So your string is going through all of these little spaces. So to make sure that everything is nice and secure, you would want to knot it in the back so you can get your moms or dads to do this part for you if you want. And this is your loom. So, two vocabulary words that I want you to remember. These are the warp strings. The strings that go up and down, warp. And then the string that we're gonna use, we're gonna use blue today. The tying string will be the weft. So warp and weft, okay? So to start our weaving, you're gonna find the end of the string. And what I like to do is tie it up at the top of my loom like that and you just want to do the opposite so you're going to go over under over under and then do the opposite for the next row so see how that went over it's going to go under right there and i wish i had a fancy camera that could speed everything up and then I could just have this completed for you. But I don't, so I wanna just do a few rows. Okay. So that is the start of our weaving. So you see how it's pulling like that? You wanna make sure that you, you don't pull it so tight because then you'd have a weaving that was really squished in the center. So we're really careful with our weaving right here. So with all of these spaces, you can just get your fingernail and squish it together like that. And that's the start of your weaving. So I hope you have a great time with it. If you don't have yarn like I do, you can use kitchen twine. You can use garbage bags. Um, if you have an old t-shirt or old jeans, Make sure you ask for permission before you start cutting things up in your house. But um, you could get a t-shirt and cut little strips of fabric and tie them together and then use that. And that could be really cool. That would give your weaving lots of texture. So little interesting things that you use in your weaving will make your piece more exciting. So have fun with it and we'll see you next time. Bye.